Hi, I'm Donna Clausen from Mud Creek in Grand Wisconsin. Happy grilling. And a happy grilling to you too, Donna. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're gonna have lots of fun today. We're at the Landmark Resort in, in Door County. We've got beautiful salmon mm. on the grill. We've got bratwurst going. We got, what do you have? The duct tape guys. And Howling Wolf. Oh! oh. <laughs> so stay tuned, we're going to have lots of fun. Hey folks, welcome to uh, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'm Mad Dog. And I'll happen to be Merrill, and we're talking about 30 minutes of fun today, sir. A little bit of education. And some great grilling recipes, Should too. Should be a good time. We're actually at the beautiful Landmark Resort here in Egg Harbor in the Door Peninsula. We've got the wonderful uh, Bay of Green Bay over to our left, which will show the fine folks ah, a little bit. Okay. Uh, some wonderful views of. We've got uh, the Door County going up a little bit north on the other side, Lake Michigan. That's how it goes. I'm yes. just That's just beautiful out it here, isn't it? Is. That's just now great. Now, on today's menu, because we are in the Bay of Green Bay, yes. uh, they've got some wonderful uh, 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 coho salmon out there. Good. They've got some, i got a Chinook next to me. A Chinook? Yeah. I ain't no Chinook. And we have some wonderful lake trout out there. So what better thing to do than some gorgeous salmon on the grill? Good. Should good. be delicious to do. It should be. And you're going to be doing? I'm going to be doing brats, all right? Brat with a nice brine with some crisp kraut. It's going to be absolutely delicious. I mean, in your Wisconsin, you got you got to have your brats and kraut. Very simple to do. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I am, too. It's going to be a great menu. We're going to have a great time. we got some great surprises coming up, that's for sure. Oh, I can't I, wait on that, too. I, I think with the brats and with the salmon, what we have to realize in fish in general and sausages sure. yeah. is, is there's too many macho men out there. Oh, yeah. You know, especially if you got the gas grill, you know, you got the grill cranked up on high. Yes. Smoke going down in the street. Got them burnt chicken breasts, burnt Whoa. steaks, burnt brats, burnt offerings. I'm going to show you how to turn it down. Medium heat, get rid of the macho. I mean, if you got charcoal, too many macho men out there. One, one layer of coals. One layer of coals is all what you need. Nice on medium there. Now, And speaking of charcoal, speaking of gas, we're actually doing a, a little re roll reversal today. Yeah. Now, I'll still be Ma uh, Mad Dog and you'll be Merrill. Okay. But it's amazing. I'm actually cooking on the charcoal grill with my salmon, but I'm normally a gas man. Yeah, you know what? And I got gas today. Yeah, a little portable. Gas. Yeah, a little portable gas. I'm going to be grilling the uh, brats on today. Sounds so that's good. a little bit different. I usually don't have the gas Mad Dog does. So it's going to be sort of fun so today. To that's speak. For, oh, I hear you. I hear you. That's for sure. Now, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, marinating cuts of meat. Okay. Now, 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 we marinate, and we've learned in the last 30 years, we've been grillologists. We travel around the country. We're doing a home and garden show, sports shows. We have a great time. We learned a lot of things along the way. We have. And now, now, 30 years ago when we started, we tell folks to take a nice big old beef roast, marinate, oh, that, son yeah. marinate that son of a gun like for a day and a half. That's right. And the acids that were in that marinade would rip through the tissues of the meat yep. and tenderize it, but we actually marinate not to tenderize, but to give a little character, personality, and flavor for a couple hours before your guests come Very over. Very good point. Flavor, flavor, flavor. That's what we're looking at. Now, Isn't you'll true? never guess what the theme of my recipe is today. Uh, baseball. No. Uh, orange. Orange, you glad I stopped throwing it up and down. Uh, yes, orange. Or, orange, orange, is the, yeah, orange is my theme here today. We're going to create a little marinade right now. We've got some wonderful salmon here. Okay. And I'm going to take, we need an acid to break down the surface tissues. Okay. Remember not to tenderize, but to give a little character, personality, and flavor. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit of orange over the top of my salmon fillets. I don't have my protection. What am I going to do? Oh, uh, We're going to make right. sure the acid's breaking down the tissues of the meat. Now we need a great rub, so we called upon, we're going we're going to get Ken in here, Ken Wolf, a little bit from Howling Wolf. Oh! But we've got one of his dry rubs right here that is wonderful and is going to be delicious on the salmon. Mm. And we're going to actually put a little bit of dry rub over the top of each one of these fillets of salmon because I want to, as the acids break down the tissues of the meat, the flavorizer is going to work in. And then I've got some orange infused olive oil. Orange, orange today, the big go. And we're going to put a little orange infused olive oil to seal that all in because 90% and 100% of all the seafood we put on the grill need a, needs a light glistening of oil. So it browns up beautifully, holds the natural juices, natural flavors, the natural flavors, and marinades the rubs, and it keeps little guys from sticking on the grates of the grill. Glisten, glisten, glisten. Very important, folks. Glisten, oil it. Now, uh, now salmon is rich. We're going to talk a little bit about salmon and, and good qualities with Ken Wolf in a little bit. Okay. But it's got those great omega threes in there. You need them. Omega threes. Now, Merrill was the original free radical in the seventies. And, and, and back in the free radicals, Merrill, as a free radical, tries to attach himself to your cell walls, your good quality, healthy cell, wall, cell walls. So we take the omega-3s, and omega-3s are oils, and they become slippery. Yes, they do. So the omega-3s cover Merrill. Yeah. And they take them. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. They kick them out of your system so they can't Jeez. attach themselves. Okay. Hey, we're going to have... 
Sorry. Boy, we're going to have some great hair. fun here today. We've got the, the duct tape guys. We've got Ken Wolf coming in. Merrill's going to do his bratwurst with a twist. We're here at the gorgeous Landmark Resort in the Door Peninsula. And I'll tell you what, there's no better way to close a segment than to cover the grill. You got it. We're going to get the salmon on there right now. I'm going to put the salmon on the grill, and we'll get it cooking on that. How's that? If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Hey, Mad Dog, what did the gas grill say to the charcoal grill? I don't know, Merrill. What did the gas grill say to the charcoal grill? Dinner's on me tonight. <laughs> Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're going to be doing some beer brat brines. Yes, we are, with some crisp sauerkraut, sir. One of my favorites. Crisp kraut. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I love this stuff. It's cool, it's tart, it's tangy. You can find it in the meat case. But in order to do that, uh, let's call in our good friends. Our good friends, Tim ladies and, and gentlemen. Jim. The hey, duct tape guys. Hey, hey how's guys? it going? How's it going, Jim? Yeah, how's it going, Jim? Good to see you guys. Wait, 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 Rubs, you're styling He's there. always okay. showing off with all the stuff he makes, but I make stuff too. Look at this. What's I made that? this. It's a beautiful barbecue apron ah. for Ken Wolf. Oh, no. Look at that. See, uh, no. use, use the, uh, by the uh, camouflage, camouflage duct tape duct from Duck Brand so you don't see the sauce spills. Yeah, I'll be darned. What's, yeah. what's, that, what's that polar bear doing no, on there? No, I think it's an albino pig. It's a wolf. A wolf. Oh! oh. A hey, wolf. You know, we got a really short barbecue season here in That's Wisconsin. Yeah. It's like two days you don't, long. Yeah. yeah, you don't have a lot of time to be grabbing for a lot no. of different barbecue no, tools. Yeah. So made, what I made here, combination burger flipper, fly swatter, a couple of basting brushes, a flashlight so you can cook in the dark. That's the ultimate in power cookout tools right there. Can I touch it? Yeah, sure you can. Boy, Just got to make sure you're flipping the burger with the right end there. Duct tape. Oh, yeah, I got That's it. right. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, what's on your head? Hold on, hold on. What's oh. on your head there, Jim? Well, I'm a big jogger, and I came okay. up with a nighttime jogging you look complete like a with huge yeah, yeah, I am huge. <laughs> I got I got water bottles for hydration and a flashlight. You turn that on, you plug in, you're good to go. <laughs> hey, I like it. I, like I made it. something else though. If What's you don't, that? you can't afford fancy dinnerware sets. Yeah. Take your paper plates, cover them entirely in duct tape. It makes a fancy looking pewter set. Yeah, it's good. Beautiful. Enough to serve the in -laws. Yeah, that's you right. You can also yeah. go disc golfing yeah. with that. Oh, I like that. Excellent idea. Okay, we're yeah. going to do a beer brought, Brian, yes. but we, we, we're going to do a, a special ingredient. We want some garlic, but we forgot the Good garlic. Idea. We understand you guys can help us out. Hey, we love yeah. garlic. Look at this. We got a way, actually, Jim, get down there and describe this. We got a way to peel and mince garlic using duct tape. No. All you got to do, take a clove of garlic. Take a clove of garlic. Wrap it in the duct tape like this. Wrap it in the duct tape like this. Okay. That's what that's going to do is hold on to the skin, Ooh. and then you take another strip of duct tape and duct tape the duct tape garlic clove right onto the table. Take another yeah. strip of duct tape and duct tape the duct tape garlic clove onto the table. I There's an echo. There's yeah, an echo in here. And then you take your hammer yep. and you smash it. Oh. Oh. oh! There you go. Yeah, that's a great idea, yeah. Tim. Wow. Yeah. And then you peel it off of Jim's face and cook with it. Uh, let's oh. let's let's face it. We're not going to cook with oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I don't no. think so. But no, do you guys like bratwurst? Oh, we love bratwurst. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, actually, we. We made some ones down really? at Marchand's Meats down in Sturgeon Bay. Oh, yeah, in Sturgeon they Bay. They had us in, taught us how to make brats. Can yeah. we see the video? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're at Marchand's Meats and Sausage in Sturgeon Bay, and with us here we got Mark and Zach, his, uh, his son, and they're going to show us how to make some bratwurst here. It's pretty much a field thing. You don't want it too tight, but yet you want to have some brats in the casing so you got something to eat. And you twist it off and tie it up and you're all set to go. And then you just twist it like balloon animals. Yeah, you twist it like balloon animals. You kind of make it brat size for, so they're like a bun. And you twist it, turn them a couple times and pull one end through. And like that, you got voila, a couple brats. What do you think? How did I do, Mark? Oh, you did really well. I think we could probably get you a job here. That looks really good. Excellent. Uh, what do we got over here? Just finishing up here, Mark. Uh, anybody can do it like that. I'm almost done here. There we go. Okay, thanks for having us to Marchand's. Yeah. When you come to Sturgeon Bay, stock by Marchand's for uh, the bratwurst. Full line of steaks and all kinds of uh, 
butcher shop projects. Hey, what's what's your favorite meat that you got here? Ribs. Ribs. I'm with you, man. Well, well, that was great. Now, Tim, your brats look wonderful. Aren't they beautiful specimens? How about mine? Uh, uh, beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're, they're you unique. did those yourself, didn't yeah. you? I mean, I've seen that. That's yeah. great. I think we'll use the brats we got yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, we we're, we're okay on those. These I are think. like three years old. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I hear you. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine that. No, no. Okay, crisp kraut. We got two pounds of crisp kraut. We got a stick of butter that we slightly melted. We're going to add some onions mm. over the top of that. We're going to add some peppers over the top of that. We're going to add 12 ounces of Wisconsin beer, good old-fashioned beer. There you go. There. I've browned up some brats. Merrill browned up some brats. I browned up some brats, yes. Yeah, we're going to place the brats over the top of the brine. We're going to seal that brine up with a little bit of the universal foil. We're going to put them back on the grill for about 20 minutes to simmer through. And we're going to have lunch, guys. You ready for lunch? Yeah, yeah for absolutely. Lunch. Looks but great. first, we have to introduce in a little bit Ken Wolf from Howling Wolf. Oh! oh! Hey, Mad Dog, why do fish avoid the computer? I don't know, Merrill. Why do fish avoid the computer? So they don't get caught in the internet. <laughs> <laughs> the internet. View past episodes of our show by going to maddogandmerrill.com and click on Midwest Grilling. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're at the Landmark Resort in Egg Harbor, and this place is fantastic. You know, Mad Dog, the folks at Landmark Resort are so kind to offer us a chance to shoot our program here. They are, and did you know that the Landmark Resort in Egg Harbor is Door County's largest property and one of its premier resorts? You know, it's situated in 40 acres with views overlooking the Bay of Green Bay. Since you're located on the Door County Peninsula with 10 minutes of numerous golf courses, wineries, state parks, biking, hiking, shopping, and so much more. And there's a ton of outdoor activities such as, you know, shuffleboard, that's yours and mine. Oh, I love it. Yep, basketball, volleyball, tennis. You have to experience it to believe it, Merrill. They're definitely your relaxation expert. We'd like to welcome our special guest, Ken Wolf from Howling Wolf Gourmet Foods. How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> boy, you're styling today. Is I, that really uh, I see, yeah, the, I see the duct tape yeah. guy's got you to wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This to me, and uh, yeah, it's actually pretty nice. Huh? It really is. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go check them out. Something sort yeah. of. Uh, I'd check out the duct tape guys and see if uh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe if Jim got that, that garlic off his face. Gosh, I will. I will. I'll go check that out. <laughs> I think you and I can handle sure, a little Ken. Sure. Hey, should we do the unveiling? Yeah, definitely. Uh, 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 you know, I'm an expert. Of course I got it. I'm just going to set that behind there. It is a beast, isn't it? Man. I'm going to set that right back there. And uh, hey, I hope you don't mind. I used some of your, your, your great orange cranberry sauce. Uh, on yeah. the vegetables too because I know it's not made just for for meats. That's definitely uh, they I use these on just about everything uh, You know this this is excellent even on a ham sandwich turkey sandwich just about anything you can put ketchup on I like to use that cranberry orange. Well, let, let's talk a little bit about the salmon because I was telling folks a little bit earlier I used to marinate and, be, mm -hmm. and because I knew you had an orange cranberry sauce I took an orange and I squeezed it over the top of the salmon yep. And that kind of broke down the tissues of the meat? Yep, that helps. Uh, gets a little, you know, also bringing a little bit of that flavor into it, too. And, uh, hey, gets I don't wanna, I'm not a chef, but can I say the word infuse? Sure, sure. Can I? Thank you. Oh, yeah. And you are a chef. I am a chef. Been, uh, been in the business uh, 25, 26 years, way too long. <laughs> <laughs> not long enough. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're still a young man. So the, so the acids break down the tissues of the meat. And then I put some of your wonderful rub, your dry rub, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about in a minute. I put that over the top. And then I seal it in with a little bit of orange infused olive oil and that was that okay wasn't great. it yep yep and then we put the salmon <clears throat> on the grill uh, medium direct heat for maybe about 12 minutes or so just until the salmon I know you know All this right, yeah. I know you know this but for you good folks out there just until it beats <clears throat> white and that's actually the natural juices the proteins just coming out percolating yep. I call it yep that's that's as technical as I get when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to cooking on the grill uh, yeah, yeah, and, and now, now protein in the in, in salmon 
just phenomenal. This is probably about a six ounce piece. Uh, it's probably yeah, six to eight at least. Six that's to eight. A good size. So we got at least forty to sixty grams of protein yep. right there. Yeah, that's great. And what's a, what's a, what's the a serving size for for salmon then? Uh, salmon, you know, generally in a restaurant situation, you're looking about six. Uh, fine, you know, more fine dining restaurants are going to go more like a four ounce yep. portion. But yep. uh, yeah, you're good good steakhouse. You're looking at six to eight ounce. And, and you know that calcium builds strong bones. Oh yes. But strong bones also give us calcium in the fish. Yep. So yep. we have a, as much calcium as a cup of cottage cheese in there yeah so it's good stuff for us three uh, like 12 times the omega-3s as beef mm -hmm. uh, so as when I did the old free radical with Merrill <laughs> uh, they, 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 it makes it slippery so that the free radicals can't stick to your good cells yep. yeah basically what it is well let's talk a little bit about your different sauces shall we uh, we have three different sauces. Yep, we have three different sauces. Uh, the original, and this is the extra spicy. These two are uh, more molasses based. Or they are molasses based. Uh, more of a traditional profile, what people expect uh, in a barbecue sauce. Uh, the cranberry orange, uh, being orange juice based and sugar, it's uh, very different. Uh, but like I said, it's very uh, versatile as with all the other sauces. Um, I use that on ham sandwich, turkey sandwich. Uh, I use it instead of cocktail sauce, my sure. shrimp cocktail. Just about anything you're going to put ketchup on. It's just a, it's a really nice compliment. And I know, I, and I say I know you chefs. I know chefs yeah. are particular about their products. They want high quality stuff. Mm -hmm. You didn't compromise. No, no, people, I people use wanted, all. People wanted you to compromise. Yeah, I don't put any high fructose corn syrup in it. Yep. No fillers. Everything is all natural. Uh, the cranberry orange and all my rubs are actually gluten free. My uh, original and the extra spicy. I have one ingredient that uh, is coming out of it very short that has gluten and we were able to find a, a, a natural substitute sure. so it's it's uh, all gonna be gluten free eventually now when, when, when Merrill and I do stage presentations mm -hmm. we talk mm -hmm. about finishing sauces mm -hmm. they're, they're kind of it's like the hula hoop it's a fan oh, yeah. right now but it's good well you know with the the complexity of the flavors in my sauces too you always want to I always tell people you know base it as you're grilling get that nice char in there but you really want to just get the full complexity and the full range of flavors by just putting a little bit on right before you put it on the plate or you know just have a little and dip it while you're eating. And, I, and if we didn't, I would assume that the, the sugars would caramelize and would change the texture and the flavor. Yeah, you get it, but not in a bad way. And this cranberry orange uh, is phenomenal on a chicken. Uh, I use uh, chicken breast, chicken leg quarters I love to get. I'll, I'll cook them on an indirect heat actually and then right when they're ready to go I'll throw them on the heat and get that char because yeah. it, it is so nice. Because it does change, it change yep. the, 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 yep. the texture and everything else. Have you ever done plank? I love using the planks. Yeah, I yeah. use these yeah. all the time. Uh, it really gets that nice uh, cedar in there. You can use alder planks too are really good. Um, you know, it's kind of a way of getting that, a little bit of that smokiness without having to throw the chips in and everything. And you can use the planks over and over and over yeah. until they're just completely cashed out. Hey, I got to mention, I got to mention, first of all, that they can go on to maddogandmerrill.com. Maddogandmerrill.com. They can find out and click on Howling Wolf. Oh! Uh, your, your nice little emblem there, the Howling Wolf. Oh! emblem <laughs> and you can find out all about the great rubs all about your great sauces find out about you and order the products and you can find it throughout the state of Wisconsin yep we got a handful of stores around the state but the uh, best way to get it out there is talk to your store and have them tell them you want to see the sauce in there well Ken we're gonna have to have you back again sometime oh, definitely great. I'd love really to be back it. and weren't those weren't those duct tape guys a hoop? oh they were awesome now we always have a little <laughs> segment called will it stick Okay. And I, I have this odd feeling, the nice thick <laughs> sauce that we have here, oh, really? that we're going to play, will, uh, it, will it stick? And it sticks. Sticks. Not They're too much perfect. sweat going on there yet. <laughs> it's going good. Are there birds here or something? Well, there's, there's I saw pelicans and seagulls. It feels pretty good. <laughs> we're going to be back in just a little bit. Stay tuned. Right. More fun coming up, guaranteed. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's good. Like, isn't that oh, good? That's good. I, know, that's I like delicious. that. If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Many thanks to the fabulous folks at Landmark Resort, your relaxation expert. Ken Wolf, Howling Wolves. Oh! oh! Great rubs and barbecue sauces. Don't forget to go to maddogandmerrill.com and see some of our great friends. Now we, now, we promised you guys, we promised you folks out there and the duct tape guys, a great way to serve bratwurst, a new twist to it. And okay. it's the Go Dog Bun. Isn't it great? Now, all you have to do, you take, you take your condiments, you drizzle a little condiment into your product. 
the yeah. bun. The bun. And uh, you take the bratwurst that's been in our brine with crisp okay. crown. And all you simply do as you insert it in, you give it a little twist. Like we did last summer. Like we did last summer, and the condiments all are evenly distributed. Isn't that well, a wonderful I'll be way? Darn. Can you, Look can at you that. hold the brat still and give the bun a twist? Sure. Does that count oh. You're like a kid again. Oh, we could yes. actually twist you around as you hold both steady. Look Isn't that great? Just That's like a true. kid. I love that. that. Oh, my yes. gosh. <laughs> I love it. That's great. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Uh, you know what I was talking about? What a great way to serve brats, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, like excellent it. Yeah. idea. Yeah. No mess. Hey, wait. What? I got an idea. I got one more will it stick thing. What? Ah. I bet you can, I can stick a clove of garlic to Merrill's head. No. You might have. <laughs> a clove of garlic that will, I got one right here. Hold on. Yeah. That's not good. That thing? That Absolutely. ain't good. I don't know. Watch it's that outside. Just put it up there. Yeah. There we go. You know, no, 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 oh. no hammer, Jim. No hammer. It's already stuck. No, it's, it's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I you, think we should. I think we should eat our bratwurst. Right, you could knock okay. some sense into him if you no, liked it. I don't though. need that. I need uh, <laughs> a happy grilling. Happy right grilling. We we'll see you folks happy next grilling. week. Yep. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.